sundries. This is floss tube. This is our floss tube episode twenty six. Yes, we remembered since last time. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm Lauren. I'm Devin. And you can find me on Instagram at Lauren Up Stitching. I'm Devin underscore New Loose Ends, and we are a podcast about cross stitch and fun stuff. Halloween mostly anymore. Uh, Pretty well. And uh, wedding. There's still wedding, wedding. stitch alongs, whatever we come up with. Uh, <laughs> So thank you for joining us for yes. another update of nonsense. <laughs> we are full of nonsense. Oh my gosh, we are so full of nonsense. What have you been up to besides? Well, well actually the big if news. you've been following us for a little bit, you know I recently put in an offer on a house. It got accepted. So now my life is filled with boxes and wrapping tissue newspaper stuff and tape. By the way, I suck at tape guns. I'm so bad at them. I just, <laughs> it's like pathetic. I am like, er, 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 and then I have this just long, so much tape. Like, Jason I'm, comes behind you and cleans up your tape. Jason, Jason's like, and he can just tape the box. And I'm like, okay, you are the taper because I cannot use a tape gun. And I've tried and I've tried and I can get it like once in a while, but most of the time I end up having to use scissors to cut it because I don't, I don't know, I don't lever it right and get it. <laughs> Adorable. So, we've been, um, pro moving tip, just so you know, I'll insert this here, liquor stores, best friend, especially liquor stores that also sell cigarettes, because those cigarette boxes are just as amazing as the liquor store boxes. Um, they are, they are willing to give them out like candy, and you don't have to pay for boxes, and they're usually in pretty good shape. We have hit all four liquor stores, and like in our area, yeah. and have had tons and tons and tons of boxes, and they're all awesome. About like here, take them, go go back yeah. there and get what you need. And so yeah, I'm sure they just have boxes to the ceiling. Yeah, they get a lot. So um, we've been packing books and like. I kind of am saying if I can do without it for two and a half to three months, then it goes in a box and it gets packed and labeled. I'm labeling everything. Um, And then uh, also some some freaking reason in the midst of all this, I decided to try to refinish a vintage wooden chest that I bought. I bought it like 10 years ago at a yard sale. And, I'm and like, you're like, now's the time. Now's the time. Well, <laughs> so here's the thing. Sean is on vacation. And I thought it would be really cool that while he's out of town, I take advantage of the workspace downstairs and um, try to get this thing done before we move. So it is, um, it's really damaged. So what I'm trying to do is remove all the, um, those old canvases or old chests had a canvas coating cover mm-hmm. on them some was leather this one's definitely a paper canvas so i'm just trying to remove all that and whatever glue they used back then was the Good serious stuff because <laughs> that shit does not come off for anything oh god <laughs> um so i'm working on that in addition to packing and i've gone to look at furniture a couple times i haven't bought anything but i'm just looking. I'm excited so that's everything i've been yeah. doing i'm sure he's always oh, it's busy work uh, I haven't done much, <laughs> uh, which it should amount to progress, but it's the only my project it really didn't. Uh, we went to the Pittsburgh Renaissance Fair last weekend, and it was super fun. It was super great. We got to see some friends we haven't seen in a long time who are moving to Maine now. We just, we, we caught up with oh, them. Oh, wow. Uh, super jealous. Yeah. Well, she's pregnant. She's probably about seven months pregnant. In, oh, this, in this heat in this Pittsburgh rent fair and uh, they are going to be moving to Maine they bought 40 acres in Maine uh, and they're going to put a yurt on it and they're going to live a uh, a, a off the grid homestead uh, life not quite home what's it what's it like uh, subsistence living like where you just make the stuff for yourself like you just like your land provides everything you need well, um, isn't that homestead? Maybe that is. Maybe homesteading is the same thing. I don't know. I can't remember. They're, they're just going to grow their own food. They're not going to, like, right. yeah. produce to sell. The one thing they are going to produce to sell is honey. He keeps bees, and they're going to up their bee population and produce honey, and that is going to be their, like, one thing to, yeah. like, do. Mm, and I maybe maple honey. syrup eventually. 
but that's down the road. But they're buying a yurt. And, uh, yeah. Can I, can I come, like, live on a corner of their 48? They've never <laughs> noticed me. Yeah, they they definitely, they did all this research, they're doing all this stuff, and I'm like, I'm like, and his best friend lives around here. His, his basically other wife lives around here, and I'm like, please tell me you have good internet, because you're leaving him behind. <laughs> tell me you have good internet. And he's like, maybe. We shall see. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, so they, that, it was fun. But, no idea what you can get on those 40 acres in the oh middle of nowhere. Gosh. Oh my god, I have no idea. But, uh, but then the, the one bad thing about the whole trip was, uh, the Maryland Renaissance Festival is on a, it's like a racetrack loop. It's, um, and it gradually goes up. Like the whole sea is like gradually going up and then there's like a one steep hill. But if you are like me and you're like, fuck that steep hill, my ankles will die, you just go down the gradual slope and you just kind of keep going back and forth like this. Like, that's how the Maryland Renaissance Festival is laid out, kind of. Mm -hmm. The Pittsburgh one is all on a hill like this. Like, every step was completely uneven. It had uh, ramps going up and down and, and they were very <laughs> steep ramps. And all of the gravel roadways had, like, washed away. So there were these big gullies and stuff in oh, every... Oh, no. <laughs> My ankle... I have really bad ankles. I have uh, just fucked up feet and ankles since forever ago. Since I was in high school, they've been messed up. And by the end of the day, I was like, I can't get back to the car. Somebody help me. So I had to take, I had to take the trip back to a car in, like, four sections of me stopping and sitting down and like being like I can't go on I'm sorry like we will just have to deal with this Aww. and we were waiting on Sarah and Ruth and I was like I can't wait on them anymore like I've got to start this journey of, of awfulness Aww. so the next day I took pictures because Mary was like show me your feet tomorrow <laughs> she's like morbidly curious so I took pictures and my ankles were like swollen like a freaking softball oh my god and I was just like now I gotta go to work in these, with these stupid feet um but so that actually though the next day I like just put them up with ice and like Sarah surrounded me with all my crafts and stuff and I was like yes I was surrounded <laughs> by tea and craft and I could, wasn't allowed to move <laughs> so it was good was that the next evening yeah, so you... no that was the next day like the next day Sarah went to work and she just like was like here you oh, go so you had the next day yeah off. I had the next day off it was because okay. we went on Saturday and the next day was a Sunday oh, okay and so she was just like don't move. And I'm like, okay. I've been given <laughs> orders. What do I do? Oh no, I have to sit here and stitch. Oh dear. That um, is an order. <laughs> Actually, I had the next two days off because it was Labor Day weekend. So oh. I had that Monday off too. Oh, I made so much progress. That's why I have so much stuff to show, is probably because that Monday I think I stitched all day. Oh. That one it, extra day, it's so helpful. It is helpful. It was nice. I have progress to show. Do you have progress to show? I have progress to show. I only have. Two projects I'm working on right now, so I'll let you go first. What you got? I have four things. Four <gasps> things. I've been a stitching machine. I think last episode I said, oh, hey, it's probably going to be my low update next time because I stitched a whole bunch last time. Yeah. But I stitched more. So amazing. The so, bug is caught her. The bug. So I'm starting with a, this is a wedding project. Um, this is called Sweet Life by Punachka. And this pattern is available on Etsy, on her Etsy shop. The bonbons are so cute. And it is super cute. This is going to go on my, um, for the wedding, wherever we put the cake, it's going to go on the cake table. And then when it's done being a decoration at the wedding, it's going to be at my house on my coffee bar because we're going to have a coffee bar on the baker's rack. It's yes. like our little... Absolutely. little coffee station so that is so cute and the you you started the beading a little bit but now you're gonna finish your yeah i did and do your beading. i did one with beading so this one has the beads on the um i don't know if you can see the see the beads there but um yeah i decided to because i'm moving the hoop around to do it oh yeah because i don't have i need the next size bigger in hoops and i don't have that I just Go look upstairs because I got a whole drawer full of nothing but hoops. Well, when I started cross stitching, I just bought a three pack on Amazon, so that's what I use, and so I have to move the hoop around. Yeah. So I decided not to do any beading anymore because it's already hard enough. I have to make sure that I don't try to split yeah, this one. Yeah, don't crush that one. Yeah. So, um, as I get over here, I'll just have to be very careful. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> but this one is uh, fun to stitch on. I love all the pinks. It's got so many shades oh, of pink in it. And it does also, it just reminds me of a chocolate box. And now I'm like, I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, it's super cute. And then the wording doesn't pop as much, but I'm hoping that um, once I frame it, or not once I frame it, once I'm finished, if I still think it needs some work, I'm going to add in a darker thread to help it. Yeah. Just do some like, maybe some backstitch outline on the letters. Yeah. I don't know. Something. Yeah. Something. To Super fix cute. It, but. I really enjoyed this one and I love the those vanilla beads. I love those little matte. They're like not oh, shiny. Yeah. Oh, they look so good. Kind of cute. So then let's see. One I more. Three more. So I'll do this one. Oh <gasps> um, so you guys, I've been making some progress on this is uh also a wedding decoration. Um, life is a game. And I started Pac-Man. So, that looks so good. It does. I'm that at, bright blue is so pretty on that black. This is 500 stitches. Like, it's insane. It doesn't look like it. No. But when I was stitching it, I was like, no. you did 500 today. That's awesome. That's so I'm awesome. like... Oh well, I guess, yeah, the, the, the really solid Pac-Man, but then a lot of border. A lot of border. Yeah, a lot of Very border. Very cool. Very but, cool. And I don't know what I was thinking when I didn't bring this to, I'm like, let me go all the way down here. I don't know. I just... I let the thread lead me. The thread leads, exactly. But, yeah, exactly. so this is, I think the next letter is Tetris. The S, I think, is Tetris. Oh, that's fun. So that that'll would be, be lots of color like that'll this That'll be one. like this yeah. one, yeah. Yeah, I'm loving this. Every time you bring it out, I'm like, oh my gosh. It's so bright and big. Like, look how big this sucker is. I guess I feel that I gripped it. It's like, oh God. Yeah, I know. I, this, these, um, this stitch... And the cryptid are my biggest stitches ever because Lauren's made a lot of larger projects, but I um, have done mostly small so far. So this is my Loving experience. That. And then, and then talking about your new house, like you're, this you're is, making your entertainment room, so that'll look. So this good is there. either going in the office or in the um, upstairs entertainment room. Yeah. I'm not sure where it'll go, but it's gonna go somewhere. wherever Jason wants because it's technically yes. Jason. Wants. Okay, let me see here. I'm I've been working on two uh large sows and they have dominated my life. Mm. Um, but I have oh, man. major progress. This one looks good. So this Holy is cow. Haunted Mansion. You know what? Hang on, let me just get my little here, right, here. This is Haunted Mansion by Tiny Modernist. Do, 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 do. And that's what it's gonna look like. It's very cute. It's so adorable. I have been wanting this done for a long time now. And I made big old progress. Look at that whole tree. That is so cool. So, so you've done the whole side. Yeah, this whole side is done. <gasps> I can't remember. Did I have the skeletons done last time that we, we were on here? I don't remember. Me neither. I think they were. But yeah, so I did this whole side here. Got the, I did the little um, ghosts in glow in the dark thread. Uh -huh. um, I've also changed all the spider webs to glow in the dark thread. So they really pop nicely. Nice. Um, and then because they I, were black for the pattern, yeah, they're black for the pattern, yeah. Um, and then I started on uh, the front door, which is where I am now, and I'll finish that up today, I think. But we talked about putting a little dude in the window, so I did a little slime monster in the window down here. He's got a big <laughs> eyeball got one big eye and he's looking up towards the front porch um and I will kind of define him a little bit more with some back stitching when I do the back stitching for this this section but I think he is so cute and I'm glad so I that's just him. something you designed yeah a little blob guy down in the bottom he was super easy to design but uh <laughs> when I put some back stitching he's got a little bit of shading what, what was supposed to be there just a blank window oh um oh like those yeah just like those yeah and uh, I put a little shading in so, like, he has, like, a defined chin. <laughs> but when I put the back stitching in, I'm going to try and make it look blobby. Yeah. So that'll, that's that'll cute. help a little bit. Uh, so, yeah. It's coming along great. I freaking love it. I was going to make him green, but then there's all this bright green grass right underneath him. And I thought that would be a little Yeah, green. too green. So. Uh, I So, I good. freaking love this. I am super excited to have it done. I am one week behind. If I finish this room up today, which I have no doubt that I will... 
um, is what I'm gonna do with my day. Um, and all I have is a skeleton and a door. Like it's yeah. gonna be done. Um, I will be still be one week behind, and that is, you know, I'm I'm fine with that as my like legacy or whatever, <laughs> as my place in the world. Um, but I. I just love this. I love the fabric. I love everything about it. Everything it is I get very it out, nice. I'm happy. And I love, there is such good contrast in that fabric, between the fabric and Oh, the, yeah, definitely. It's perfect for a spooky night. The, uh, yesterday, I was supposed, I, I was supposed to pay bills. That was my job for the day. <laughs> and I said that in the morning. Sarah was going, Sarah went to work at noon. And I was like, okay, today all I have to do today is pay bills. And she's like, yeah, that's all you have to do. And then as she was leaving, I, I think I asked, like, do you have anything you want me to do around the house? Do you want me to start laundry? Anything like that? And she's like, no, you don't have anything to do today. Take the day and relax. And that just, like, stuck. I, like, I completely forgot everything else I was supposed to do. So all day, I just sat and <laughs> stitched. I did some other craft projects we got going on. And I kept saying to myself, don't you have something to do today? No, you have nothing to do today. You can <laughs> just ignore the, enjoy the day. Okay. But... I did uh, 1,053 stitches in one day. So it was glorious. Thank God. So. You make me want to count because I want to know how many I do a day. I did a lot when I stitched all these. Every single update that I had, they're all in um, they're all in a pattern keeper. Yeah. So I did 500 stitches on every single thing I've, I'm showing today. Wow. So you did like 2,000 then. But I didn't do them all in one day. Yeah. But still. So, like, I don't know what I stitch in a day, but every every single one. I mean, maybe not Bon Bon. Maybe not the Sweet Life one. I, don't I know usually write day. down, but I don't have it, like, organized neatly. I usually, like, write down, like, in this one. Uh, like, so I go from everywhere from 720 stitches, which is, like, I think a work, a weekend day. To like a weeknight where I get 162. This is my book. Yeah. Regular when I stitch during the week, I don't get as much done. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean like. More long weekends, world. Yes, more long weekends. Give us more well, long weekends. Yeah, or just like not having so much to do in your work week evenings. Yeah. That would be nice. That would be nice too. This is my next one. Woo! This is Barbara Anna's The Branch. And I did from this headstone over all the way on that branch and that this was this was all done in one day and it was 500 stitches and that branch is thick yeah that branch is a chonker it is yeah. thick it so. is a thing to fill in yeah i didn't realize until like but there's a whole like other panel over here yeah so there's a chunk of stuff here and there's a building in this gap there's a whole building here but i didn't want to start that and i was like eh. I hated stitching the other building, so I did everything but the building. That is coming along so cute. It is cute. I and love I'm... all the little, like, things. Like, how it's not just the branch. There's all these, like, there's, oh, yeah. like, all these little, like, I don't know. Is that, like, snowflakes? What is that in the winter? Stars. Stars. Yeah. That makes sense. That's, you're Bursts smart. Bursts of magic. You're smart. But the, uh. But oh, this is on 14 count, I believe. 14 count something. It's like French creme. Yeah. I don't remember you buying Cafe one. Mocha or Cafe something. Cafe Mocha, maybe. Something like that. The, uh, I love that fabric with it. Like, I know you were a little worried about your, like, magic burst showing up, but I think it looks really great. Yeah, it's cute. I don't know what this is going to be. Probably just, like, in a flat frame. I don't know. Yeah. Haven't, haven't thought this one through, but it's cute. It's coming I'm along. It. I'm going to definitely do that one in the future because... I love Barbara Anna, and Barbara Anna Spooky is like. She has a lot of cute spooky stuff. In my wheelhouse. But I really like the branch look, so that's what I chose. <laughs> then I have one more, Laura. I also have one more. Are we can do this one together? Well, sure. So we are both working on. The Cryptid Stitch Along. Yeah. Yeah. You're a little farther than I am, girl. Running past me. I uh, stitched forever on this one. This is what I did on Labor Day Monday. I think this is what I did on Labor Day Monday, too. Yeah. And I had to finish all this, too. Oh, wow. You so, really did. So I had to do all this and come down here and do this. Yeah. On, I stitched all day on this. The uh, 
We didn't have boxes that day, so oh, I just that's, ditched. That's brilliant. That's a good excuse. That's the thing about the liquor store and my car. My car can only hold about six boxes because my car is a tiny little hatchback. So we just go to the liquor store and we load up the back seat. We don't put any in the trunk because my trunk is slanty. Oh, yeah, you just crush them. So it just, when well, the bottom's all full of Jason's work bags. Good that. But. So the first month, the first cryptid was released last week, and I did mine on Monday. Um, Mothman. Mothman. And uh, then this week they released a new one. Uh, which is, Devin, you got actually started on. I haven't gotten to start on it yet. I did start on it. So, this is a Fresno. The Fresno Nightcrawlers. Fresno. Haunted pants. They are haunted pants. But you can't see, like, I have, like, not enough done to show. Yeah. Like, what they are. But. But, very cute. So, I had to do, uh, I had to start some more of this frame, which is a chonker frame. Like, when you start to realize how much stuff needs filled in, you're like, oh, God. Yeah, this, but, uh, this frame is a beast. But yeah, so I think I'm going to get Fresno done and then maybe a little more of the frame on this side so that it's it's ready to go. Yeah, I'm going um, to try to over there. Try to work on bringing down my frame on both sides. But I'm I'm really not worried too much about the frame as we go just because the next we can row, line everything up. Yeah, the next with row of like cards is going to go there and then I'll just bring the frame down. So I've been following that 21 Stitch group, and oh, I joined the Witchy Stitchers Facebook group. Me too. And I've seen there's someone who's doing this who's not doing it like this. She's doing these as ornaments. And that is so cool. That is cool. That so is she is really stitching neat. each one as like a little haunted ornament, which would be amazing. Definitely. And I told Jason, I'm like, we have, at our new house, we have... A covered, very protected porch. And I'm like, how cute would it be if we did a Halloween tree? That would be cute. We could do a little Halloween tree out there. A little Halloween area. Because I'm like, our house looks... <laughs> because, it's, because it's so old, it does look a little creepy right now. <laughs> so I'm like, we'll just get some of that spitterweb stuff. And yeah. just... Just up the creep factor. Yeah. Just make it scary. That is going to be awesome. But yeah, I'm Actually, loving this stitch. I think I could just take the real cobwebs from the basement. <laughs> <laughs> there are some cobwebs in that basement. They are the real deal. They are like the old layer upon layer, like, like thick. Like this spider has lived here for generations. Yes. <laughs> uh, but I'm loving this stitch. I think it is so cute. I, Sarah was super excited that Mothman was the first one. And we went to the Cryptid Bash over in Morgantown. And... We now have some kind of merch or memorabilia or art or something from a wide variety of cryptids. Mm -hmm. So every single one, I think I'm going to try and photo. When I put my photo up, I'm going to try and put something with it. Yeah. Well, you also because, do that cryptid crate. Yeah. We also do a cryptid crate and get all kinds of stuff. So we have tons of stuff. Yeah. Um, and Lauren, you're doing yours on 28 count? I'm doing mine on 28 count. This is Twilight Mist by Wakelt Linens. And I love the, I love the like burgundy color with the blue. Looking great. Mine's on 18 count Ada, which um, I don't remember the store. But it'll be linked below. It'll be linked below. Go ahead. I'm loving that green. The green does look really nice. I'm really happy with how it's popping. Um, I really like stitching on this it's been an easy except for the these little guys up here on the frame hated these hated the little bat they're so cute but man they're pain in the butt to stitch i liked the swirly guy i liked these swirls but i hated these hated them they were the devil these are easy yeah these are very easy and i like how i mean i think the witchy stitcher is incredibly smart pattern player like she's she's incredibly talented and, and artistic but she also is like hey i know you're gonna be counting this very chunky border for a while i'm gonna make it very clear when you repeat a thing or when you do a mm -hmm. section like the moon color changes it's not just moon so you can like be like oh shit i put them in the wrong spot yeah it's very easy to like keep track of where you're going and i saw somebody went and they actually did this in purple like this really pretty purple it's very cute i saw somebody do all the swirls under each bat in silver so this looked like silver like work and then it had a black bat on the top is so that's cute. cool 
So. But I am jealous of these creative These people, people. that do creative stuff. I'm mm -hmm. just like, I'll follow the pattern exactly as written. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not a super adventurous. I, I did a make little. a blob monster, though. I made a blob monster. I am a little, because I've done color conversions on three yeah. patterns now. So I've done some stuff. I haven't, like, stitched anything just completely weird, though. Yeah. Like you. What have I stitched? Completely? Your blob. You made your own thing. I did make my own blob. Proud of him. It's adorable. <laughs> So yeah. that's that's everything I have for stitching. That's I all have, I have. I mean, it seems like a little, but at the same time, four updates, guys. That's a lot for me. That is a lot, and the, I mean, it's more than I've got. I've been just plowing away on these two things, so I can just. We well, have two really big projects going at once. And so. then I have. I am on section six, no, section five of eleven. Once I finish this front door, I'll be on section six of eleven. So I'm more than halfway. I'm almost halfway done. The uh, how many stitches is each room? Like eight hundred. A thousand. Oh, you don't have to tell me. So the room I'm working on right now, I did a thousand stitches on because that's what I just said, and it is not, not done. done. So each room is probably fifteen hundred to two thousand stitches. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot to get done in a week. It is. It is yeah. a tight timeline, but there are a couple buffer weeks at the end. But then I got to figure out what the hell I'm doing with it. Like, how am I going to finish it? I don't know. Frames. I want to. I want to do something. I want to do something non-framed. I definitely. I know the leshy, which I'm going to work on this week, is. Uh, I, I know what I'm doing with that because mm. my dad has this old barn wood from, his family used to own a tobacco barn. Uh, they they owned like a tobacco field, and uh, so he has the wood from that barn, and I know he has offsets mm -hmm. because he was doing like a project in his house, and I know he's got like pieces that are going to be the perfect size. And so I'm going to do something with the old barn wood and the and leshy on that. But everything else I've done has just been in frames. And I feel like I want to do something different. But Well, you're stitching um, the mandala that's going to be a pillow. Stitching the mandala is going to be a pillow. And uh, Spell of the Moon is going to be a, a pin cushion. Yeah. That's basically going to be the size of a pillow. So I'm doing some different stuff. I don't know. And it's just a banner, which is right there. Yeah. So. Keeping my options open, trying new things, being inspired by freaking Anna Stitches Autumn is the mod to the 21 Halloween Projects Facebook group. Uh, and she does amazing finishes. That I'm always like, gosh darn it, I have so much to learn. <laughs> like, she does amazing finishes. So what if you did um what if you did some pipes? Like kind of like what I did with that crochet thing. Ooh. And stitched it, stitched it down around a pipe. Yeah, like I made a banner, but using the pipe. Ooh, yeah, that would be kind of cool. That would be. And maybe cool. you could find some cool, like industrial style pipes. I bet your dad could hook you up oh, being a plumber. Totally. He could totally hook you up with something. <laughs> I, I wouldn't use it. copper with that. If you could find something that's like more like the old uh, cast either, iron, either cast iron or something that looks cast like black and cast irony. Yeah, yeah. We can come up with something. I bet you could. Anyway, <laughs> I think that's it. Ideas. I think we have. I don't think we have anything else. I'm good. I've got everything. Uh, we will be back in a couple weeks. Uh, life is gonna get chaotic for you in the next couple months. So yeah, the uh, next time we record will be after. I think after I close on the house. No, twenty sixth. Oh, okay. Is it twenty sixth? Twenty sixth is the next time we record. Oh, okay. So right before I close. On right the house. before you close on the house, and then. Yeah. Who the hell knows? Yeah, after, after I close on the house, I don't know what's happening. And really, two days before you close on the house, who knows? The 26th. Four days before you close on the house. Yeah, because we close on a Thursday. Yeah. And I have that whole yeah. weekend. <laughs> I don't know what that face was. <laughs> that's, a, that's a face of, I have plans, evil I plans. Have, I have plans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right guys. Out of here. Okay. We will be back. Have a wonderful time. Enjoy spooky season. It's here. It's Fall is happening. Uh, All right. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>